do you sometimes tend to forget some important to do tasks or work due to the busy schedule wouldn't it be nice if you could keep all your important to do task at one place well with google keep you can quickly and easily organize the things you want to remember google keep can be accessed from anywhere across any devices let's take a look at some of its best features and how to apply them the purpose of google keep is to take quick notes on the go and save them to access from anywhere across any devices once you have entered into your google account you can open google keep by clicking on google apps or else you can simply type keep.google.com in your browser's address bar and enter into the google keep let's go ahead and learn how to use it the google keep is divided into two parts the first one is notes and the second one is reminders at center top you get a search option below that you get take a note option by clicking on it you can start taking notes to start with we will click on take a note first we will click on title and then type the title name click on take a note and then type news on e learning page number 7 after finishing entering the note you have to simply click on done if we click on it we will be able to open the note now let's go ahead and explore these options the first one is remind me if we click on it you get reminder options you can select any of one as per your requirement for now we will click on later today it has created a reminder at bottom that is today 8 pm if you want to delete it click on cross the second option is collaborator you can use this option to collaborate your note with anyone you want or a group if we click on it we get option of entering the email ids with whom we want to share the note for now we will click on cancel the third option is change color you can change your color of the note according to the category for example we will click red color for now click on change color and then select white the fourth option is add image as the name suggest you can add image in this note if required if we click on it you get a window to select an image click on image and then click on open yes it is inserted to delete the image we will simply scroll down then locate the mouse pointer at bottom right corner and then click on remove the fifth option is archive you can see that the note is archived click on undo again click on note then we will click on the three dots and check out the options you can select any of one as per your requirement after that you get option of undo and redo then if we click on pin the note will be pinned and will be located at top of the page after entering the note we will click on done you can see the pinned written at the top as we have pinned the note for example if we create one more note then click on done you can see that in spite of adding the note after that the previous note is located on top as we have pinned this if i remove the pin it will be all set to default after note the second option you get is list we will click on it here you get a option checklist you can add title and start entering the tasks for example we will add title day 1 and then start listing the tasks after entering the task click outside if you want to add any other tasks you can simply click on list item and then start entering the tasks you can delete any point you want by simply clicking on delete you get the same options as we explored for notes with addition of one feature which is an option of checking the tasks for example from the two task we have done with one task check it by clicking on the box Yes, you can see that the task is listed under completed item. Now we will click on done. The next option is new note with image. If we click on it, you will be able to select an image. Select an image and then click on open. Scroll down and start taking notes. For now, delete the image. The next option is new note with drawing. We will click on it. With this feature, you can draw anything you want with the use of the pen. If we click on the arrow, you get different color options with different pen sizes. You can try using those. After that, you can also select a color pen. The third one is highlighter. You can highlight any part you want with the use of it. You can also change a color as well. You can also click on eraser and erase the drawing. Then you can click on select tool and select the required drawing. You can also convert this window in full screen if required by clicking on full screen. If we click on the three dots, you get option of new drawing, download and delete current drawing. For now, 
simply click on back. You can also add title and note for this drawing and then click on done. You can also convert your view as list view or grid view as per your requirement. Now let's click on reminders. In reminders, you get the same option as notes with the additional benefit of reminders and adding time for them. For example, if we click on take note, then add title, you get default timer at bottom. You can click on it and change the time if required. You can see that how easily we can create reminders by using Google Keep. You can also create labels for your notes. For example, if we click on it, you can enter the label and then you can sort your notes according to the labels. For now, we will click on done. Now once we have created these notes on our Google Keep on our desktop, we can also open and check those on our mobile phone. Let's go ahead and open the same notes in our mobile. Once we have installed the app on our mobile, we will locate the app and tap on Google Keep. You can see that all the notes which we have added on our desktop version are automatically synced in the Google Keep app in our mobile. You can tap on any one and open it. You will get the same options as we saw in the desktop version. Go ahead and enjoy Google Keep. Thus, Google Keep helps you start a time-based reminder to make sure you never miss a thing. Google Keep can be accessed from your phone, tablet and computer. Everything you add to Google Keep syncs across your devices so your important stuff is always with you. Today in this video, we will see the different learning opportunities which are open to you if you know how to use Microsoft Word. As you all know, Microsoft Word is a graphical word processing tool developed by Microsoft. It is commonly known by the name MS Word or simply Word. MS Word is basically used for various documentation work such as creating reports, resumes, invoices and bills, writing letters and applications, creating forms and other similar work can also be done using Microsoft Word. Jobs like this are available in both physical and digital space. Physical spaces are places like schools, typing centers and cyber cafes where Microsoft Word is predominantly used for documentation work. In digital spaces, there are various freelancing portals. These portals have different projects which are done using Microsoft Word. Some of the famous freelancing portals are TrueLancer, Upwork, Freelancer and People Per Hour. Similar Indian freelancing portals also exist like Youth for Work, Work and Hire and Indie Village. For example, if we go to the Upwork portal and search for work related to Microsoft Word, we can see that more than 250 such projects are available. For these projects, a learner can approximately earn 130 rupees per page. Even on Indian portals like TrueLancer, you can find approximately 450 plus projects. The average amount that clients are willing to pay is 200 rupees per hour. If we see samples of the kind of work which is posted on a portal like TrueLancer, we can find projects where they need a data entry specialist who can type and format 200 pages for a book. For this simple job, the employer is willing to pay up to 500 rupees to the freelancer. On international portals like Upwork, some sample jobs include a resume writer and LinkedIn profile updater. In this case, the freelancer will basically need to write a good resume for the client and update their LinkedIn profile accordingly. Projects like this can pay up to $200 or around 14,000 rupees for completing this work. Let us now take a closer look at the portal freelancer.in. To see how you can search for such jobs, we will first open freelancer.in and click on browse jobs. Here in the skills section, you can search for applicable skills by typing word. You can now see that word and word processing are skill options that appear. Select both word and word processing. These are the two skills that the various projects will be filtered by. On the right hand side, you can see the various projects that have been listed and the rates that the employer is willing to pay for each. Let us take a look at some of the projects which are listed here. We will select copy typing work. Once we click on it, the detail of the work are displayed. 
here we can see that employer requires a freelancer who is good at computer typing in English. Some of the skills that the employer is looking for can be found here. The client has mentioned copy typing, data entry, Word, Excel and transcription. We can see that various other freelancers have bid on this project with various codes to offer their services to him. Here it is mandate that the employer has a budget of approximately 250 to 750 US dollars for completing this work. Many such jobs are available on other freelancing portals as well. So you have ample opportunities to earn simply through your knowledge of Microsoft Word. So what are you waiting for dear learners? Happy earning!